The former Nigerian vice president and the presidential candidate of the People's Democratic Party in the 2019 election at Tikovaka has been challenged to show integrity, honor, and discipline in his accord relationship with either individuals, group, or corporate entities. Giving this advice in a statement, the Boaris Media Organization disclosed a recent exposure of Atiku by the staffs of the communication company and consultant hired from foreign media companies does not portray Atiku as a man of integrity. In the statement signed by his chairman Niyi Akisunji and Secretary Kasid Madukwe, the organization said it was responding to the multitude of petition by the former staff of Atiku who alleged that the former vice president had engaged them for media jobs, flown some of them into the country, but refused to honor his agreement to pay them owing them months of salaries and allowances, and leaving many of them in serious debt. The Warriors Media Organization said that Tiku breach of agreement to which the media agent, whom he had engaged through the firm Gote, was dishonored, adding that this is the least expected of a man who sought to be Nigerian's president. After days of silence, Atiku Abaka in a statement refuted the claim saying nothing can be further from the truth. He further disclosed that the money to pay the workers of Gote, both local and foreign, was given to their recruiters. John Chaisma, a famous journalist, and the matter had once been reported to the police. He added that Chasman has disappeared since then.